On March 1, 2014, I went to Pohick Bay Regional Park, which is located in Lorton, Virginia, along the Potomac River, about 25 miles south of Washington, D.C., and I observed a group of five redneck grebes. They are birds of far northern climates, and they are found in Europe and Asia as well. They stay mostly in the western half of North America, but when they do come to the Northeast and Middle Atlantic states, they typically stay along the coast. Some years we will see quite a few in the Washington area, but other years we might not see any. They usually winter much farther north. One reason they might be here during this very cold winter is because of freezing in the Great Lakes region. Redneck grebes sometimes migrate in small groups, which might explain the presence of the group of five at Pohick Bay. They are about 18 inches long. By comparison, a mallard is 23 inches. They look more like a small loon, but they are not in the same family as either loons or ducks. They weigh about two to three pounds. They used to be called Holbell's grebe, named after a Danish naval officer. Nobody is sure of the origin of the word grebe. It might come from a Breton word that means comb because some species of grebes have crests. Their Latin name is Podiceps grizigena. Podiceps comes from two Latin words that mean rump and foot, which might be a reference to how far back the feet are on grebes. The species name grizigena comes from two Latin words meaning gray cheek, which the birds have in breeding plumage. Redneck grebes are the third largest grebe in North America. It is difficult to tell the sexes apart in the field. Redneck grebes are four inches longer than the horn grebe. They have a long yellow bill and brownish eyes. You can see that this horn grebe is a much smaller bird. It has a smaller bill and it has red eyes. Like other species of grebes, redneck grebes pump their heads forward when they swim although the pumping is not as pronounced as in some of the smaller grebe species. Grebes do not have webbed feet, but rather feet with three lobed toes. Each toe has webbing on it. You can see the foot of the redneck grebe when the leg is lifted. Also note how far back the feet are on the body, much farther back than on most other species of swimming birds. You can see a hint of reddish coloration on this bird's neck. All of the redneck grebes at Pohick Bay were in basic or winter plumage. In breeding plumage, the red on the neck is more brick red than the color of a cardinal. Otherwise, the winter plumage birds are mostly dark gray, with some white on the chin, breast, and back of the head. They also have white underwing and in this footage slowed down to a quarter speed, you can see the top of their wings have a partial white leading edge and a partial white trailing edge, which show when the wing is lifted. One rarely sees redneck grebes fly. They like to fly at night. If they want to fly, you would know it because they need to run along the water to get enough lift to become airborne. While all bird species must maintain their feathers, grebes and other diving birds have to be especially careful because their feathers become submerged. Here is what a redneck grebe looks like when diving. They take a little leap forward to get momentum for the dive. And here's what they look like when they resurface. Redneck grebes eat fish, insects, and crustaceans. Here is one who has caught a fish and is not heeding the adage to never eat anything bigger than your head. Grebes are unusual in that they eat their own feathers. A reason for this might be to help them to regurgitate the bony parts of fish without tearing up their insides.
They also sometimes do surface feeding. Here are some redneck grebes swimming with ducks called mergansers. Mergansers do not have typical duck bills. They are sometimes called sawbills, and they have a long straight bill similar to the bill on the redneck grebes. The intentions of these mergansers might not be benign. Mergansers are capable of diving for food. Their name literally means plunging goose, with the merg part having the same root as submerge. But they sometimes will swim with the grebes and try to steal food from them when the grebes resurface from a dive. Widgeons, who are ducks who do not dive, also are known for following diving water birds and trying to steal food from them when they resurface. This footage shows the grebe swimming past some fish crows who are standing on a board in the water and taking a drink. Most birds, except for pigeons and a few others, are not capable of suction drinking, so they must get the water in their bill and lift their head so that gravity will let it go down their throat. Pigeons can drink while bending down. There is no conflict in this scene. During the winter, grebes are mellow and docile birds, but they become very aggressive during the breeding season. The first redneck grebe I ever saw was on a cold winter morning in 1982 off of Haynes Point in Washington, D.C. I was with my friend Dave Chaplack and he spotted the bird in the water across from the National Defense University. We got out of our car and set up a telescope to look at the bird. Almost as soon as we did that, a policeman materialized and asked what we were looking at. I looked at him in the eye and said, a redneck grebe. The policeman gave me an odd look and told us we had to move on, which we did.